Hey guys, it's Mandy. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. And if you happen to have a dolly or a crafting channel of your own, um, please let me know in the comments so that I can find your channel and get subscribed to you as well. Um, <clears throat> we are getting very, very close to our um, our Reborn Baby giveaway. Um, we're going to be doing that after we hit a thousand subscribers. And last time I looked um, this morning when I was answering comments, I uh, we were at 960. <laughs> so... Thank you so, so much, you guys. Um, some of you have been sharing my videos. Um, you've been giving me shout outs um, to help me reach that goal. And I am, I'm just so, so grateful to you guys. Um, you just don't even know. Um, <clears throat> and then secondly, I am very sorry I didn't make a video yesterday. Yesterday was... Uh, crazy. I was supposed to go see Tilly to, um, to give her her American Girl doll. We were going to, you know, she was going to pay me and I was going to give her the doll and maybe hang out for a little bit. And I ended up having to, um, go into work, um, because someone in another branch, um, was ill and I had to go fill in because when you're a supervisor, you don't really get a lot of choice about that kind of thing. Um, so I didn't get to do, go do that. And by the time I got home, um, we are having a lot of like really weird, um, weather things. By the time I got home, I had, um, a really, really bad, bad, bad headache. And, um, I just pretty much spent the rest of the night, like in my recliner doing nothing. Um, so yeah, didn't make a video, so I apologize, but we're here today and I am going to do a tag today and I'm going to do a tag that is from, um, J Dolls UK over at her channel. I'm going to have her channel linked in the title and if you have not subscribed to her, you really, really should be. She has a really fun channel. She does a lot. I mean, she does a lot of dolly related things and not just um, reborns. So if you have a lot of interest in like all different kinds of dolls, crafting, sewing, um, you really need to be following Jay. But she has a tag right now that's called um, I Used to Think, hashtag I Used to Think. And it is about like misconceptions that you had as a kid or maybe even as adult that you didn't find out like the truth of the matter or that it was all kind of like made up <laughs> until you were a lot older um and you really should go watch her video where she introduces the tag because it's hilarious but let me tell you who we have right here <laughs> this is anna Anna is my playful slate. <clears throat> Gosh. Oh, playful sage four month sculpt. She is from Bountiful Baby. Um, she's a real born, so she's a scan of a real baby. And she was brought to life by Jeannie Coy of A Baby for You. I have had this girl for a while now. She is a forever baby. And um, she was one of my my babies that I had in my um, <clears throat> my mini me uh, video. And that was a tag from Lynn over at my Bella Blessing. But, <coughs> but anyway, we're going to get her changed today. And I am going to get her changed for Theme Thursday this week. If you haven't seen Yvonne's latest video... Theme Thursday is um, under the sea, so uh, so sea creatures and such, and, and maybe mermaids and things like that that are under the sea, and this is what I'm going to be putting her in. This is a dress that Tammy sent to me for my birthday, and it is a gorgeous um, yellow seersucker dress, and um, it has a band going across the, um, the bodice. And it's kind of like gathered 
um, kind of roost right there. And it's embroidered with blue whales uh, with little like yellow stars. Um, and it's got like a little uh, white um, like pinafore collar. So I'm going to put her um, in this. First I'm going to get her out of what she's wearing. And I don't know if you guys noticed this, but um, those of you who are familiar with Anna, you might remember that at one point she had a full, um, she had a full vinyl um, torso. Um, it was, it was basically like a full, um, a full, uh, torso plate that had to be taken off over her head. So it was, it wasn't like a wrap around. It was like a full torso plate. Um, and I still have it, but I took it off of her because I just, I love just how cuddly she is and she's really well stuffed. I've got her well stuffed and everything. And she sits up on her own just fine without it, but I wanted her to be, um, I wanted her to be a little cuddlier, so I took that off of her. But if I ever decide to put it on her again, I can. Give me that arm, girl. There we go. So anyway, okay, so for the tag. So... When I was really little, um, I, <laughs> you guys, okay, you guys are going to, um, think this is kind of dark, but, but it's true. <laughs> when I was little, I used to think that, um, Santa Claus was, oh, sorry, excuse me. I used to think that Santa Claus was a very bad man. First of all, I thought he was real. Second of all, I thought he was a very, very bad man. Um, and I'll tell you why. So when I was really little, you know, we knew that, that there would always be these presents under the tree. And they would be wrapped, but they would say Santa instead of, like, from Mommy or Daddy. And, um, and then one year when I was about, I'm trying to remember how old I was. I think I was maybe, I want to say I was in second grade. So I was probably, like, maybe seven. I think I was about seven. Um, and I still 100% fully believed in Santa Claus. I did not find out about Santa Claus until I was about 10. I think I was about 10 when my parents, like, broke the news to me about, um, about Santa Claus. But when I was about 7, um, one of the girls in my classes was talking about how, um, how there was a man that had got, that had come down their chimney and he was there to kill them. And she was telling everybody this story. And, um, I automatically in my little fevered imagination thought that she meant Santa Claus. Like I really, really thought, I really thought she meant Santa Claus. And she was talking about how this man came down the chimney and he was there to kill her whole family and, you know, how she was so scared and her dad chased the guy back up the chimney and he escaped out the chimney and he got away. Um, well, I went home that day and I told my mom, I was like, oh my God, I said, Santa Claus is going to kill us. And she was like... Mandy, what do you mean Santa Claus is going to kill us? And I said, Santa Claus is going to kill us. Um, and I was like, Tiffany said so. Tiffany said that a man came down her chimney. And um, he was trying to kill her whole family. And my mom is just kind of like, what on earth is happening in this school? <laughs> and I am going to turn her onto her belly. You guys... 
look at her head of like curly hair. Isn't that realistic looking? I just love her head of curly hair. One of the reasons why I love this baby as much as I do is because I think she looks like a child that um, maybe Joe and I could have had because of um, because of her hair color. She is Joe's exact hair color and everything. But anyway, back to the story. So my mom called the school to talk to my teacher and my teacher didn't know anything about it. She's like, well, I haven't heard about anybody trying to get down, uh, you know, Tiffany's family's chimney to kill them. Um, but I kind of like kept that in my head and, um, and Tiffany didn't really talk about it anymore. And the next day she like didn't talk to anybody, but, um, she got called to the principal's office and we didn't know why. And then, you know, when she came back, she was really upset and kind of crying and angry and she didn't talk to anybody else about it, but the story was already in my head. So that winter when Christmas was coming, I was like terrified of Santa because I thought, oh my gosh, what if he, what if, what if because, you know, maybe one of us has been bad, what if he's coming to, um, to kill us? And, uh, and I had it in my head that Santa was like a serial killer and, you know, and when the kids were bad, like, like my imagination conjured up everything else. And I was like, okay, so whenever kids are bad, he comes in and he kills their families. Like it was, guys, it was dark. My little brain came up with something very, very dark and it didn't help that my sister loved to sit up late at night and watch like horror movies, like Nightmare on Elm Street and such. And I would sometimes sneak down and watch them with her. So I would, you know, I would hear about these things and see these things. And, you know, that just made, that just made it even worse. So <laughs> anyway, so I lived in like constant fear of Santa. And I tried to be so good all the time because I was afraid that if I wasn't good that Santa was going to come down that chimney and he was going to kill me in my sleep. Well, come to find out, so I'm going to put these little like light blue socks on her. Come to find out what Tiffany had been telling us about was she had failed to mention that she got all this from like a movie, like a, like a B horror movie where Santa was like, um, was Santa was like a, a um, like a slat, it was like a slasher film with Santa. And so she had seen this and she decided to tell everybody in class the story and instead make everybody think that Santa had come down the chimney to kill them all. Um, and it was actually a movie that she had seen. But for an entire basically year of my life, I lived in terror that if I wasn't good, Santa was going to come down that chimney with a knife and he was going to find me and he was going to like kill me while I slept and maybe kill my family too. Um, and then when I was like in third grade, I was talking to Tiffany one day and I asked her if, <laughs> if Santa had ever come back down the chimney to kill her family. And she just looks at me and she goes, she says something along the lines of, and I, and I, 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 I like vividly remember this because I was so embarrassed and she's like, Oh my God, Amanda, that was a movie. So yeah. So Santa, Santa never came to kill me. Santa never wanted to kill me in the first place. I'm going to put this really cute navy blue uh, ribbon in her hair. Santa never wanted to kill me in the first place. It was just, I had a very, very mean little friend who decided to scare us all with that story. And I am sure I am not the only person in that class that thought that, you know, Santa was going to come kill us. Oh, <laughs> so anyway, that's, um, that's my tag. This is probably not a super long video. I'm getting up to look in the camera. Oh my God. She looks so cute. The blue socks don't quite match, but I don't have any dark blue socks because I usually try to avoid like dark colors on my babies, but Tammy, I love this dress. This dress is amazing. 
It is so pretty on her. Her little colorful cloth diaper is showing through. Um, you know what? I think I might put a, um, I've got a diaper cover in one of my drawers over here. And I think I might, do we move your tail, buddy? I think I might put that diaper cover on her. I've got it somewhere over here. But I've got like a little, a little white diaper cover. Yeah, here we go. I've got like a little ruffle bottom diaper cover. So I think I'm going to slide that over her colorful little diaper. And that way we don't see all that. But yeah, that's my, I used to think I, whole year I had night. Oh my gosh, you guys, I had nightmares that if I wasn't good, Santa was going to come kill me. Like my nightmares were like really, really graphic. I've always had horrible graphic nightmares all my life. I don't know why. This might not fit over her big, her big cloth diaper. She's wearing this like, it's really cute. It's a cute diaper, but it's very, very colorful. So it, it shows through. I'm sorry, baby. You're just kind of going all over the place, aren't you? I'm just, I've got her in my lap, just kind of pulling this up over her, um, her diaper so it doesn't show. Come here, honey. Here we go. That looks a little bit better. You can still kind of see it, but it's not as bad. It's not as bad. Oh, her head's <laughs> sliding a little bit. I should have put a onesie under here, but that's okay. There she is. She is so cute in that. I love this dress, Tammy. It's so sweet on her. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and let you go. So I love you guys. Take care. Take care of each other. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.